four. All right. Yesterday, or not yesterday, last week, Wednesday, we were talking about the volume of a shape. Guys, what is this shape over here? What is the shape that I've got over here? Pop the answer in the chat, everyone. Good, it's a cube. It's, this is an easy one. Okay, so I'll, I'll ask her now. Okay, I just need to check on her. Just give me a second. All right, excellent guys. It's a cube. Hi, Caroline, it's great to see you. All right, it's a cube. So if I tell you guys that this cube of mine, this side over here, my height is five centimeters. Am I able to use that five centimeters to calculate for the volume of my entire cube? Yes or no? Tell me in the chat. Can I do that? Excellent, yes, I can. Awesome, of course I can. I want a brave soul to raise their hand and tell me why can I do that? Why can I use that one side? Why can I use that one side to calculate for the volume of my shape? Saisha, what do you think? Um, because all the si um, sides are equal in length. Excellent, excellent. That means my bottom side is also five centimeters and the other side is also five centimeters. You did that beautifully well. Well done. Okay. That's it, Bonolo. You're 100% correct. Okay. So when I calculate the volume, I'm going to go volume is equal to, but remember, we're looking for the length and the breadth and the height. In a cube, the length and the breadth and the height are all the same. So we don't have to worry about which side is the length or the breadth. The height is very important. The height is always going to be the side, the one that starts from the bottom going up. Like if you're measuring your own height, you don't measure your height lying down on the floor. You stand up straight so that they can measure your height for you. So the height is always the one going from the bottom up. So when I calculate for my height, I'm going to go five centimeters multiplied by five centimeters multiplied by five centimeters. Therefore, my volume is going to be equal to, please everybody pop your answer in the chat. What is five times five times five? Volume is equal to. Excellent. And some of you guys are missing it. You're not supposed to give me just a number. It should not be a number. And Hermione, remember what we said about the squared. How many centimeters am I multiplying by themselves, by, by each other? I've got centimeter, time centimeter, time centimeter. There we go. Not squared, Caroline. Remember, squared is when we're, we're calculating for area. There we go, Ayoela. You've got it. Yes. Excellent. There we go, Dimpol. Well done, guys. Okay, because there's centimeters, three of them multiplied by each other, we've got 125 centimeters cubed. It must be cubed because if you say squared, what you've actually calculated is the area and not the volume. Okay, excellent. I'm so glad you guys are getting this. I'm going to give you guys one more. Pop your answer in the chat when you're ready. Okay. This side over here is 10 meters. Pop your answer in the chat once you're ready. Excellent, can you saw, of course, of course. I think Malisha's um, video is lagging a little bit because after I'm done, only then does she post the answer. <laughs> Skumelele, you're missing many, many things there. Buche, be careful. Are we calculating in centimeters? Are we calculating in centimeters? Mm, no, we're not. Hi, Nati, that's no worries. Excellent, guys. Good, everyone. I told you, you guys are going to need your calculators today. We're definitely going to need our calculators today. Hmm. Excellent, Siam Tanda. Well done, Ayoale. Sure, you guys can do this in your sleep. I see you guys. Okay, excellent. Volume is equal to 10 meters times 10 meters times 10 meters. All right, no Oh, yes, Nati, no problem. 
Mutebang says, I used my brain calculator. No worries, Nati. Uh, I will message Teacher Cat for you in just a second. Give me a second. Hello, Teacher Cat. So great to have you back. You were gone for a while. Okay. Ooh, that was traumatic. Are you okay? I'm back. I'm back. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have my volume. Therefore, my volume is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 is a thousand meters cubed. Excellent, guys. All right. We're doing great. This is easy. But let's look at this shape over here. What do shape do I have? What is this shape called? Thank you, Nondu Miso. Excellent, Mutebang. That's exactly it. It's not a rectangle. It's not a cube anymore. It's a rectangular prism. Okay. Now, I, I, my, spelling, my spelling is not the one. Let's try that again. R-E-C-T. I'm going to steal you guys' spelling because my spelling is terrible. Rectangular. Thank you, guys. <laughs> rectangular prism. Thank you. There we go. It's a rectangular prism. Now, can I calculate the volume of a rectangular prism the same way that I can calculate for a cube? Can I do it in the same way? Why not? Who can tell me, if you say no, can I just go ahead and say, if this side is three centimeters, can I go ahead and go three times three times three? Sangye, why can I not do that? Ma'am, the sides are all equal, ma'am. Are they They're equal? all different lengths. Exactly, they are all different lengths. So I can't just go three times three times three, hey? Yes, ma'am. Excellent, excellent. Okay, they're not equal. So I need to make sure that I'm looking for my length, my breadth, and my height. Now my breadth over here is going to be 10 centimeters and my height is going to be seven centimeters. Now remember guys, volume is equal to length times breadth times height. I want you guys, please calculate for the volume of this shape and pop your answer in the chat. Okay, everyone, you've got one minute. That was very fast, Canva. Wow. That's it, guys. Well done, everyone. See you guys. Some of you guys are forgetting your centimeters, but that's all good. Excellent. Bandila, you've forgotten your cube. Don't forget your cube. See what in the world is going on. That's okay, Nondu Miso. Remember, when you're writing your tests and your exams, there's nobody fighting for, like, there's nobody competing with you for time. Make sure that you're getting answers correct. Okay. That's no worries, Sia. That's good. That's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to have volume. My length is always my long side on the bottom, which is 10 centimeters multiplied by my short side on the bottom, three centimeters, multiplied by my height, the one from the bottom going up, which is seven centimeters. Therefore, my volume is equal to, this therefore should not be there. Therefore, my volume is equal to 210 centimeters cubed. No worries, Mbali, welcome. Okay. No worries, Mohali, welcome again. Okay. Can I get in the chat a thumbs up, thumbs down? How are we feeling about calculating for the volume of a shape? Okay. Excellent. Awesome, 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 guys. Amazing. Well done, guys. Awesome. I feel like this is easy. Okay, Bute, what's up? I'm seeing a thumbs down. What's up? Okay, ma'am. I'm just I just I'm just a bit confused, ma'am. Mm -hmm. In will it always it's just a general question, other than that, I understand, ma'am. Mm. With 
you know that we can break up the shape like un and unfold it. Would we always have to do that? It all can we just use uh, that this method again? Uh, Get length times breadth times height method. I like get any for the for the, the volume. It. Yes. Okay. For the volume, yes, we can always do that. We can just go length times breadth times height. But remember, we say when we were when we were breaking the shape apart, what we were actually looking for was not the volume. We were looking for the surface area, and area requires us to look at each face. We need to look at each face separately, and that's why we were breaking it up. Okay. When we're looking for volume, we just want to know how much caramel fudge sauce can go inside. That's all. We want to know how much it can hold. That's it. But when we're looking for surface area, I want to know how much material do I need to buy in order to make the box? That's the difference. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So when you break up the shape, we're calculating for surface area. When we're calculating for volume, we're calculating for how much our box can hold. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Awesome, guys. All right. I'm going to complicate our lives a lot more now. <laughs> Sorry, Canva. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to complicate our lives a little bit and uh, make, make things a bit more challenging for you guys because I feel like calculating for volume was, eh, it was easy. <laughs> Tahila's like, as usual. I'm not that mean, Tahila. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, <clears throat> now, guys, I'm just going to ask you again in the chat. If I have one centimeter, pop your answer in the chat. How many millimeters do I have? No problem, Maya. Welcome. If I have one centimeter, how many millimeters do I have? Well done, Saisha. Excellent. Excellent. I have 10. I have 10 millimeters. Yeah. So if I have two centimeters, how many millimeters am I going to have? It sounds like an obvious question, guys. I'm going somewhere with it, I promise. Good. I'm going to have 20 millimeters. Right. Now, if I asked you guys to calculate for the volume of a cube that has two centimeters on this side, what would my volume be? It's a cube, guys, remember? So we know that all the sides are gonna be equal to each other. Okay. What is my volume going to be? Because the side over here is also gonna be two centimeters and the side is also gonna be two centimeters. Excellent. So I'm gonna get two times two times two, and that's going to give me eight centimeters cubed. Now, because over here, my volume, when I have a cube that's eight centimeters cubed, does that mean that eight centimeters cubed is equal to 80 millimeters cubed? Does it work that way? No, it couldn't possibly, because that's way too small for the millimeters that I have when I go around a whole volume. Okay, it doesn't work that way. What I actually have, guys, what I actually have is if I have two centimeters and I'm calculating for the volume, I have two centimeters times two centimeters times two centimeters. But now if I have to convert this into millimeters, what I actually have is 20 millimeters times 20 millimeters times 20 millimeters. So two times two times two is gonna give me eight centimeters cubed. But for millimeters, what am I gonna get? What's 20 times 20 times 20? Punch it into your calculator. Tell me what it gives you. It's not gonna be 80 millimeters, trust me. That's it, Canva. That's it. Okay. 20 times 20 times 20 is not going to give me 80. It's going to give me 8,000. 8,000 millimeters cubed. Okay. Do not forget the cubed, guys. 
Don't forget the cube. And Titan, do not be that lazy. In, in this particular part of maths, we can't just write 8K. No, we have to write 8,000. You have to write it out all together. Okay, you must write 8,000. You can't just write 8K. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so if I ask you guys, what is three centimeters times three centimeters times three centimeters? That's me calculating the volume of a cube that has sides of three centimeters. What's three times three times three, guys? Excellent. It's going to give me 27. And I better not forget my dimensions. It's going to be 27 centimeters cubed. Excellent. But for my millimeters, that's the same thing as me going 30 millimeters times 30 millimeters times 30 millimeters. Okay. Tell me, guys, how much is 30 times 30 times 30? There we go, Etoken. You've got it. Excellent, Tahila and Gundo. It's going to give me 27,000, but it's not going to be centimeters, guys. What is it going to be? What cubed? Not centimeters cubed. Millimeters cubed. Excellent. Do not forget. It's millimeters cubed. So it's going to give me 27,000 millimeters cubed. All right. Are we seeing what we're doing here? Who can tell me who's noticed the pattern? Let's do another one. Let's do another one. If I have five centimeters times five centimeters, because I'm calculating the volume of a cube, times five centimeters is equal to 50 millimeters times 50 millimeters times 50 millimeters. Five times five times five is going to give me 125 centimeters cubed. How many millimeters cubed am I going to get, guys? Tell me. There we go. At this point, we don't even have to use a calculator anymore because we should have noticed a pattern. Snowy, excellent. Please put up your hand and tell me what have you noticed? 125,000 millimeters cubed. If you're okay to speak, my sweetie, if you're not, you can pop it in the chat. Anybody who's brave enough to put their hand up and explain to us what's happening, let us know. Snowy, what do you see? Ma'am, I see that you um, multiply it by 10. Good, but every single one of them I've multiplied by 10. What's happened to that 10 times 10 times 10? Hmm. Because yes, if I, if I think about centimeters to millimeters, if I have one centimeter, I'm going to get 10 millimeters. That's why I'm multiplying by 10. But what's interesting about my answer? What's interesting about my answer? Let me see. Let's see if maybe Etoken can help us here. Okay. Etoken, have you noticed? What I've noticed is that each time you convert it to millimeters, it'll have three zeros. No. So no. let's say... An example, 10. In, in centimeters, it will be 10, but in millimeters, it will be 100. I don't oh, it would, know if it, it would, would make 10. sense. I don't know if it would make sense how I'm saying it, but you would it understand. Make, it makes perfect sense because you are speaking perfect sense. Just, dude, like, high five. I need to give you a virtual high five. You did amazingly. That's exactly it. Do you guys notice that every single time we convert from centimeters to millimeters, we add three zeros. Okay. And I couldn't put it any better. Nontando has, says, has said it. It's the same number, just add three zeros. That's it. So I'm not even going to bother with the multiplication on the left-hand side anymore. I'm going to ask you guys. If I have seven centimeters cubed, how many millimeters cubed am I going to have, guys? Pop it in the chat. How many millimeters cubed am I going to get? Let me see who's going to get there first. That's it. That's it. Excellent. 
that's it. Okay, Gundo, in this case, I've already cubed it. So all I need to do is just write seven and go one, two, three. That's it. I'm not doing seven times seven times seven. I'm just doing seven. I've already made it to the answer. Okay, and my answer was seven centimeters cubed. So all I need to do is just add three zeros. Here's another one, guys. If I have 12 centimeters cubed, how many millimeters cubed do I have? That's it, Lizwi. That's it. 12, well done, Matema. 12,000 millimeters cubed. Easy, right? Easy. Excellent. So now here's the challenge, guys. Here's the challenge. I'm going to give you guys a cube. Here's my cube. And I'm going to tell you guys that my cube has a side of 12 centimeters. But I want you to give me the answer for volume in millimeters. That's what I want you to do. Who's got any idea what we are going to do? What are we going to do here, guys? Remember that volume is equal to length times breadth times height. Anybody got an idea? Etoken, I know you know, my dude. I want to see if anybody else is with us here. See, so yeah, we're definitely going to multiply, but what? <laughs> what are we calculating for here? Buche, what are we going to do? Hi, Buche. Uh, oh, hi, ma'am. Hi, what are we going to do? Uh, ma'am, uh, since we are doing volume, uh, and the cube is the same all mm -hmm. around. So mm -hmm. it's 12 times 12 times 12. Excellent. Good. 12 centimeters times 12 centimeters times 12 centimeters. Right. Therefore, volume is, punch it into your calculator and give me an answer. It's 1,728. Good. What? What is the answer? 1,728? That, and then add three zeros. Wait, oh, oh millimeters. One, yes, two, three, add three zeros, and then, and then we put millimeters. millimeters cubed. Cubed. Excellent. You did that so beautifully. Well, well done, Buche. That's it. Let me give you guys another one. Okay. If I say to you guys, one side of my volume is six centimeters, okay? What is my answer for my volume in millimeters cubed? Remember volume is length times breadth times height. And Ganyiso, if you wanna try this, I need you to put my, your hand up my sweetie um, so that I can ask you to answer the question for me, okay? Excellent, Yonela has already made it all the way to the end of the answer. Uh, Amazing. Amazing. Well done, Randre. That's it. Oh, Randre missed, missed it by a little bit. Remember, guys, we're not multiplying by three. That's it, Mbali. Well done. Well done, Ayowale. That's it. Yes, Sange. Well done. Got it. Yes, you can, Ganiso. Yes, you can. Excellent. So I'm going to go, my volume is equal to six centimeters times six centimeters times six centimeters. Oh, forgetting. Six centimeters, which is equal to 216 centimeters cubed. And that's the same thing as just writing 216. And then I add three zeros. One, two, three millimeters cubed. No worries, non so yes, you can. Okay, all right, we're gonna do another example, Ola, and watch what we do, okay? So guys, I know most of you are gonna get this within three seconds. I need to stop taking away the thing. <laughs> okay, this is four centimeters. For those of you who understand how to do this, pop the answer in the chat. You already know how to do it. Give me an answer, guys. 
for those of you who are a bit confused, remember guys, if I have, I'm, I'm not writing, if I have eight centimeters cubed, that's the same thing as 8,000 millimeters cubed. That's it. Jaden, you've got it. I know you were a bit confused in the beginning, but that's it. That's the exact answer I'm looking for. Now, Ola, watch. If I have two centimeters cubed, if I have to, call, if I have to put that into millimeters cubed, that's the same thing as 2,000 millimeters cubed. So every time I go from centimeters cubed to millimeters cubed, I add three zeros to the end of my answer. I add three zeros. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the volume of this cube because I know that a cube is the same on every side. So my volume is going to equal to four centimeters times four centimeters times four centimeters. And my volume here is going to equal to 64 thousand, okay, wait, let me stop there. Before I go into thousand, I'm going to say this is equal to 64 centimeters cubed. Okay. And because I want it in millimeters cubed, I'm going to take my 64 and I'm just going to add three zeros to the end. So it's going to be one, two, three millimeters cubed. Sure, the important, no worries. I can scroll up a little bit. Okay. Or you can take a screenshot, Dimpo, if you're able, because this is quite a lot. Okay. Sanya, remember, not centimeters, millimeters, cubed. And don't forget my cubed. You need to write down millimeters cubed, because if you just write down centimeters, that means you've calculated the perimeter. And that's not what just, okay. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, Nondumisa says she just understood it now. Excellent. <laughs> well done. Now, I have no idea what I have done with the rectangular prism that I had put here because it's not here anymore. Okay, let me go steal the other one that we used for the recap. Let me steal this one. That's it. But for this one, it's just for centimeters and for, uh, it's just for centimeters converting to millimeters. Okay. We're going to use another one different for this. Now guys, remember <coughs> Okay. Yo no do me so you can't ask me to draw one. Yo, my drawings, my drawings aren't exactly 100%. <laughs> Hi Angela, it's great to see you guys. Can we can we welcome can we welcome Angela? She's brand new, guys. <laughs> she's brand new. Let's let's give her a nice warm welcome. She couldn't um, she couldn't log in, and she's just joined us for the first time. Very very nice to have you with us. All right. So now, guys, the cube. This one isn't as easy, right? It's not as easy. And I'm going to show you guys how complicated this particular one is. Okay. Now, if I had to say here, this is three centimeters, this is eight centimeters, and this is five centimeters. And we wanted to convert this into millimeters. I know that my volume is going to be length times breadth times height, okay? So then I'm going to have, my length is eight centimeters times three centimeters times five centimeters. Now, if I have to convert this into millimeters, what I'm going to get is 80 millimeters times 30 millimeters times 50 millimeters because one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters, okay? But because we just learned this brand new way of calculating, I don't have to go all that way. I can just take a shortcut, a shortcut, a shortcut. Okay, I can take a shortcut. I can just calculate this part. I can go eight times three times five, which will give me 120. And what am I gonna do to the end guys? I'm just gonna add three zeros. <laughs> One, two, three millimeters. 
meters cubed. That's it. <laughs> I meant shortcuts, guys. I meant shortcuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I didn't. I didn't mean to do it. Okay. I meant cut. I meant shortcut. Okay. I'm just gonna take the shortcut. I'm just gonna measure the centimeters cubed, and then I'm just gonna add three zeros to the end. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me ask quickly before we run away with the shortcuts. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Do we understand what's going on here? Thank you, Jaden. Excellent. Snowy says, this is really easy. I am so glad. And I love it when you guys tell me that things are easy because it makes me want to complicate your lives just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Gundo, I have to. I have to, I have to do it. <laughs> Guys, it's because it's because you're doing so great. It's because you're doing so great. Okay. It's because you're doing amazing. All right, we're gonna go all the way back up to the top. <laughs> Bushe, I must, I need to expand your minds. I must expand your minds. Okay, I have to expand your minds. Now, centimeters is too easy. How many, me how many centimeters are there in a meter, guys? <laughs> Tell me, thank you, Saisha. How many centimeters are in a meter? There we go, excellent. Matema, well done, Lizzie. There are 100 centimeters, right? That's it. So you guys can imagine where this is going. If I have two meters, how many centimeters do I have, guys? Yes, we do see it at the very end. I have 200. That's it. I have 200 centimeters. Okay. Now, if I say to you guys, I've got two meters times two meters times two meters because I'm calculating for the volume of a cube and my cube has two meters on each side, right? This is going to give me eight meters cubed, but the amount of zeros is not the same guys. It's not the same amount of zeros, okay? What I'm gonna have here is I'm gonna have 200 times two, oh, I'm forgetting my centimeters, sorry guys, 200 centimeters times 200 centimeters times 200 centimeters. So eight meters squared, what is the answer in, uh, eight meters squared is how, what is the answer in centimeters squared guys? It again, you have got it. That is it. Well done, Rebetu and Gundo. That's it. Sisonke, you're missing quite a few zeros. Remember, punch it into your calculator, Imi. Punch it into your calculator and see how many zeros you get out. Punch in 200 times 200 times 200. And we get 8 million. We get 8 million. Six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six centimeters cubed. Sure, that is a lot of zeros. That's a huge number. Eight million centimeters. That's it, Saisha. Million. <laughs> no, 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 do me. So I'll say it. I'll say it like slowly. It's because whenever I see million, I think about how many zeros I have in my bank account, and I'm very jealous because I also want that many zeros in my bank account. <laughs> I I also want eight million centimeters squared in my bank account. Centimeters cubed. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. So, do you guys get the idea? If I have five meters times five meters times five meters, that is the same as 
500 centimeters times 500 centimeters times 500 centimeters. That's gonna give me 125 meters cubed. Okay, and what is that gonna give me? 500 times 500 times 500 is gonna give me 125 million, one, two, three, one, two, three centimeters cubed. Okay, so guys, when I am converting from meters squared to cent, oh, sorry, not meters squared, meters cubed to centimeters cubed, how many zeros am I putting in? How many zeros am I going to add, guys? That's it, Saisha and Etikin. That's it. Well done, Nundumiso. And Kamva and Ayawela and Imi. Exactly. Exactly, guys. We're going to add six zeros. Okay. So this is the last question I'm going to ask you guys for the night, and then we'll continue on Wednesday. Okay. Uh, Let's go with a volume. Okay. The side of my cube is seven meters. And I want you guys to give me my volume, which is length times breadth times height. But I want you guys to give me my answer in centimeters. Give me an answer, everyone. Yes, Bukhe. Uh, uh, okay, ma'am. So yes. Since the square is the squares all sides are equal, so it's seven mm. times seven times seven, mm. which is yes. three. Mm -hmm. How much? Oh, I've lost Buche. Hi, Buche. Which is 343. 343 what? The answer is. Uh, this is meters million. Cubed. Good. So it's going to be 343 meters, million. Million meters cubed. Oh, not meters anymore. When we add the million, Wait. what are we getting the answer in? Uh, centimeters cubed. Excellent. Centimeters cubed. Very, very well done. Amazing. Well done, Buche. Okay. I keep forgetting that Lawrence isn't actually Lawrence. Can you unmute for me and remind us again? I think I, I need to write it down this time. Hello. Can I ask you Hi, my sweetie. What is your name again? Leona. Leona. Teacher Cat, we're going to have to write down Leona's name so we don't. Yeah, have both of us. <laughs> this one, she... I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. sorry, Leona. We're it's going okay. to remember. I'm going to write it somewhere that I can see it. There we go. Leona, I will not forget. All right, Sudi, do you have a question for me? Oh, let me answer to answer. Oh, okay. Can you answer this one for me? If my side over here is two meters, what am I going to write? Tell me what I'm going to write down. Eh, then you're going to write two times two times two. Good. And how much is two eight. times two times two? It's eight. Eight meters cubed. Good. And how much is that in centimeters? And then it's going to be eight million centimeter cubed. Excellent. Well done, Leona. Well done. Amazing stuff. Very well done. Okay. Olwa says, Miss on the cube, isn't it three times not two centimeters, not two seven? Okay, Ola, you've lost me a little bit. Do you want to unmute and and um and ask that question because I think you've lost me a little. Hi, Miss. Hello. Hello. Um, Miss, I'm trying to say like you wrote uh seven meters and then you wrote another seven meters on on the cube. But um, volume equals length times breadth times height, and they're only two numbers. So isn't it okay. meant to be three sevens? 
Yes, it is supposed to be three sevens, but if I only write one seven, Ola, remember all the other sides are also seven. So it doesn't matter where I write it. So if I write seven meters here, this side is also going to be seven meters. What about this side? What's the side going to be? It's also going to be seven meters. Exactly. It's also going to be seven meters. So it doesn't matter whether I write one of the seven meters or if I write all of them, they're all going to be the same. You get what I mean? But because we're calculating for volume, I need to make sure that I'm calculating times three, three times. Okay, seven times seven times seven, three times. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Even if I yes, write miss. just two of them. Yes, miss. Okay, if I write just two of them, you need to remember that you must multiply three times. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, Bulela, I, I am going to give you your quiz results, but they're only coming on Wednesday, my sweetie. I don't have them yet. Okay, I should get them tomorrow, possibly. Okay, and then I will post them up on Wednesday.